So now I need to cut some rebar for to go in the uh, holes down here in these sauna tubes. And that's going to tie my Simpson Strong Tide down into the concrete. There's a lot of ways you can do it. Uh, you can build a cage and drop it down in there and tie your hook your uh, Strong Tide th uh, through that. I'm just using a couple, some rebar. I just got a little bit of rebar here. I'm putting one across and I'll make this other one into a hook. It hooks up into it. Main thing you want to do is, is get the strong tie tied down into the meat of the concrete so it can't just easily pull out. I mean, the, uh, I don't think I have any problem with that too much. Uh, my building's a little bit over engineered, but it's certainly going to hold together in the strong winds. I'm just using a uh, bolt cutter. You can get a, a chop saw or a cutting torch, whatever you might have. I'm using 3 8 inch rebar. Just cutting a few pieces of that off. Not too hard. For these long pieces of rebar, I want to build them into a, a hook so I can hook it into the Simpson Strong Tie and tie it down into the concrete. So I just have a little uh, a welded hook on here that makes it real handy to bend this stuff. You could put it in a vise or um, there's quite a few ways. This rebar is not really all that hard. So it's pretty soft metal, it's pretty easy to bend. So I'm just bending me a couple of hooks like that and then another hook on the other end. That way it ties into my strong tie. This goes down into the concrete and gives me something to uh, hook it down into the concrete. Now, come the, now comes the part that's not so much fun. i got to dig these post holes out a little better. I used the, uh, my tractor with the auger and uh, it did pretty good. It's got a 12 inch auger. These holes are 12 inches so I had to I could dig them with the auger then I had to shape them out a little bit more. But the problem I got is the auger on a tractor just hangs there by gravity and it's, you can't, it's really hard to control exactly where it digs. And so getting them to dig precise was very difficult. So uh, I had them moved off. This hole was probably my worst hole. It moved off uh, by about six, eight inches. And so I've got to redig it. And it was really, really hard here also. So I had to soak it in water last night and I'm digging it again today. And this is the fun part that's not really fun about setting these piers. But if you want it done right, you gotta do it. I'm going to show you what a Simpson strong tie is, if you can see this. It actually comes, uh, I like these better than what they'd originally planned. The is here drawn up just a flat plate bolted to the concrete, but I found out about these on the internet and I really like them. They're a lot stouter, real heavy metal, and they uh, <clears throat> they go actually down into the concrete. The concrete comes up to about here. This goes down into the concrete and, and the concrete gets a bite of it and it's really difficult to pull out. And then, so I wanted to make it even stronger. So I'm putting in this uh, rebar, so maybe just a little rebar here like this. I can put this across the top of it, actually, like this. And that, and this little so hook then goes down into the concrete. The whole thing is buried in the concrete and really ties it down into that. I think you'd have a really hard time pulling that out. You could build you a, kind of a cage in there and strap it up that way, but I think this will do for what just the pole barn I'm going to build. Uh, should be just fine. It's going to be quite a bit stronger than I believe what the uh, engineer originally designed. Okay, now we're going to do this concrete and pour, pour it in these sauna tubes I've got down here. And like I say, it's taking about three bags of concrete per sauna tube. It's a 24 inch sauna tube. So it's 12 inches across, 24 inches tall. Fill it up here. And we get, I've already, I've already set the sauna tubes pretty close to grade with my uh, laser level. So, so I went around and set, this morning I set seven of them because I only do about six or seven a day. You get pretty worn out after that. But I went and uh, dug them out, put them on my, in this case, six foot centers. And then I'm, uh, I was set and leveled them with my uh, laser level. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. And to get them pretty close, and I'll come back here in a minute, we're gonna set the Simpson Strong Ties exactly to level inside the sauna tube, inside the, inside the wet concrete. I like to pack the concrete down so it goes down there good and tight. No air voids in there. All right, right now I've got the laser running over there. I've got my concrete poured. I'm gonna finish it off just a little bit. It's starting to dry just a hair. I just want to get it nice and flat. And we know that the tube here is pretty close to level. It's probably not exactly level, but it's close. We trim some of this off. We'll cut it off here in a minute. We're going to take our strong tie, 
and we're gonna sink it in the concrete. The way I'm doing is put some some uh, metal through it. You could put a uh, cage. Some of them show put a cage in there, but I thought that's a little bit overkill for what I'm doing. The uh, we're gonna sink this strong tie in there, and then we'll move it pretty close to uh, where it belongs. The concrete's getting a little dry, so I've been out getting ready to take pictures. There we go. And so we're gonna check our center here. We need to be at 18 feet, wherever six feet. So I'm gonna move this. Our string line gets us our vertical, or where we're at uh, left and right. And this gets our length. So we're putting these every six feet or so. And make sure things, we'll do this two, three times. And then we're gonna check our level. So with the level, I've got this, I set over at the other corner. And we want this one to be the exact same level. So we haven't moved this, and we're gonna set this here. And we're gonna make this go up and down. It shows our arrow here, shows it needs to go down a little bit. So we're gonna tap it down some. There it is, right there. That's level with that other corner post over there, right now. A little irritating sound, but it works. And we're at 18 feet, which is every six foot, and we're gonna move it in just to work right on the edge of the of where the edge of the building will be. So that should get us right there. We're got a little too much concrete, so I'm gonna scrape some of that off. Get down where it's the, I, read, I like to have a little extra concrete on each sonar tube. They kind of, when it dries out, they shrink a little bit. But I put a little extra concrete and then uh, I can scrape it off real easy if I need to. So we did that. We're going to go back and recheck everything once more. So we're good there. We're good here. And our level's right on. So there's, that's how you set a, a tube based off our laser over there to this level. So all the, every, one is going to be exactly the same level.